Hey there, so today I'm gonna to show you how to create a glass injury using Silly Glass. This is actually glass that's made of silicon, so it's somewhat flexible and a lot safer to use than clear plastic or real glass, which I would strongly recommend not doing. Hopefully get something from this and enjoy. So what you'll need to create this glass injury is Silly Glass, and this is actually silicon glass. So it is slightly rubbery, it's perfectly safe to kind of be near the skin. It doesn't have any sharp edges or anything like that. I've seen people try and recreate glass injury makeups using bits of plastic CD or DVD cover. Definitely don't do that. I'll leave a link in the description below of places that you can buy silly glass, but avoid all sharp plastic and actual bits of glass as well. You'll need some nose and scar wax. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of modeling wax as well because I'd like to have some seeping fat in some of the wounds. You need your skin illustrator palettes as well as alcohol. I've got the effects and the flesh tones palettes. You need a mixture of sculpting tools. So I've just got all of my sculpting tools here. You'll need your fake blood and a little bit of detergent as well just to make sure that the blood spreads more naturally. You need some form of adhesive, so I've got some spirit gum and I've got a bit of Prosade here as well. You'll need a mixture of sponges and some Q-tips as well to be able to glue that adhesive down without ruining the brushes. Speaking of brushes, you'll also need a selection of brushes to be able to paint the wound. And that's it. So what you want to do first of all is work out exactly where you want the cuts to go. So I've just got a white eyeliner pencil here and I'm gonna very, very lightly mark out some of the cuts. I'm gonna scatter them around a little bit as well, but what I want is I want them all to be sort of in one direction. And some of them will actually contain glass and some of them will just be cut by themselves. So I'm pretty happy with the placement of those. And then open up the nose and scar wax because you will be using one hand Get a little bit of it ready as well. So I normally just get sort of a ball of it ready that I can go and manipulate. Then grab the spirit gum and then just dab it over those areas that you want to apply the nose and scar wax. What I'll do on this spot here is I'll make a bit of skin kind of hang loose off the side. So I want to put a little bit of extra wax there on the side of my finger as well. And then once that spirit gum is tacky, I'm gonna get a bit of this. You don't actually have to use this stuff. If you want to, you can just use the regular nose and scar wax and then color it yellow, but I'm pretty comfortable using this modeling wax now. So I'm gonna put a bit of body fat in the largest wound, which is this one here across the side of my finger and only a couple of pieces. And like I said, you can go back in and paint body fat in there if you want to then over those areas that you've put spirit gum, you can now start putting some nose and scar wax down. So I'm going to roll a couple of worms in varying sizes. So I'll start with this one here around my finger. First of all, I've just got a bit of petroleum jelly on the side here beside me and I'm dipping my finger in just to make sure that I can smooth this wax out and it's not going to stick to my skin. And then I'm going to repeat this over the other lines that I put down before. I've now gone over the top of all those white marks that I put down before, just with some worms of nose and scar wax, and I've smoothed them out. So I'm just grabbing the sponge now and dabbing over the top just to remove any petroleum jelly and get the surface ready for painting. What I've done here is I've actually put a bit of excess nose and scar wax and I've wrapped it around the side of my finger because I want this bit of skin to kind of hang loose and when I put the glass shard in there I'll pick a piece that will wrap around the finger slightly just to make that look more exaggerated and then this cut down here I haven't smoothed out on one side because I actually want a pronounced or slightly lifted bit of skin here and I'll go back over this with a sculpting tool just to sharpen it up a bit more and once you've removed all the excess petroleum jelly what you want to do next is just grab a little bit here on the end of the sculpting tool and then go in and define the lines or the cut lines back into the nose and scar wax. So I want to deepen this one because this will be the most exaggerated line out of all of them. And you can actually be quite jagged with these. These don't need to be completely smooth because they have actually all these bits of skin have run over the edge of some glass. So 
This one here I'll just make a cut. I won't actually put a piece of glass inside of this one so I just want to put a bit of pressure down maybe change the pressure as I'm dragging the sculpting tool along and I can actually stick a bit of glass in underneath here just a small piece one thing that helps a lot when you're using silly glass as well just to keep it in place you can definitely recreate this with silicon if you want to if you want something more permanent is when you're digging out the nose and scar wax try and dig it all the way back out to the skin again so that the adhesive has something to grip onto and that will help keep those bits of silly glass in place I'm happy with those cut shapes now so I'm just going to go in and put some paint over the top of those and then just go in with that rose adjuster and put some pink back into this nose and scar wax I'm pretty happy with those cuts now so what I want to do now is just go in and fill the inside of those wounds with a slightly darker red to make it look like I've actually cut through the skin layers. So I'm just going to go in with the blood tone colour now and add some of that to the inside of those wounds. Another thing that you can do to give the illusion that these cuts are a lot deeper is grab a dark blue colour. So I'm just going to use the ultra blue from the effects palette and go in and mix some of that up and then just add a very thin line of this in the very very middle of each of the cuts and then when you put blood over the top of it it will give the illusion that the cut is much deeper. So right in the middle. So that's it there with the blue added to the inside. Definitely gives the illusion that those cuts are much deeper. Then the final step now is just to find some pieces of silly glass to put inside of these wounds and then just add blood and that's it. So sometimes the silly glass will just stay in place as is and you won't actually need to put anything in there to stick it down. Just to be sure you can go in and add just a tiny bit on the inside of the cuts where you want to stick the glass. You can use any adhesive really. Another trick you can do when you're actually putting the glass in the nose and scar wax is stick it down inside the groove and then just gently slide it forward in the nose and scar wax so that the wax lifts up slightly just to make it look like the glass is dragging through the skin just to add to the realism. And the last step now is to add some blood into these wounds. So grab a little bit of your favorite fake blood Add a dash of dishwashing detergent in there as well, just to help spread it around. Then mix that up. What I like to do with this is, in photos, silly glass doesn't show up very clearly. So I like to first of all go in and add blood to the middle of the wounds. You can be quite messy because we will go back in and clean it up a little bit more.
The other thing that helps with this illusion is adding a little bit of blood to the pieces of glass as well. Because these are transparent, sometimes they don't show up that clearly in photos, so just add a couple of blobs of blood to the very edge. I'll just let that blood sit now, and then I'll go back in and mop some of it up once it's dried a little. If you end up getting blood on other parts of your hand, that's okay as well. So this is the final look here with actual pieces of glass stuck out of my hand. You can see those pieces of silly glass actually catching the light. They look pretty cool. And then I've got some random cuts there that don't have any glass in them at all. So you can see them kind of protruding out there. It's pretty gross. You can put as much blood on this as you want to as well. Feel free to go crazy. I normally like to leave some of the wounds visible so I don't normally put that much blood on top. And you can definitely recreate this with silicon if you want to as well. So that is my glassed hand injury. You can put this on another part of the body if you want to as well. Thanks for watching.